And what do you think about blockchain? A lot of these guys are talking about what if we decide to go to blockchain for, you know, voting. A lot of hackers are, are fans of blockchain technology, right? Actually, hackers are not. Hackers are not? No. So, so would you, well, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. How, how do you think, uh, what do hackers think about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? So let me, let me go back to the blockchain. Blockchain is a solution looking for a problem it can solve. And it really haven't found a problem it can solve. Blockchain is fundamentally energy efficient, inefficient, yeah. slow distributed database system, depending on what is your consensus algorithm, how you put it. Blockchain, if you look 10 problems in elections, blockchain can be partial solution to one or two of those 10, but blockchain would create then 10 more problems. So you will be always net negative. Blockchain is has no role in the vote counting part of the elections at all, it just doesn't. And even if you look for other parts like voter registration, then the question becomes a consensus algorithm of all the other technologies. Furthermore, blockchain voting systems have been proposed. For example, Duma of, of uh, Moscow. Yeah. And it got immediately hacked. If you look the the US proposals uh, votes, got, got, it got hacked and got demonstrated. So the whole idea that blockchain is somehow harder to be hacked not true. Can you can you hack into blockchain? I mean, depends which blockchain. But uh, just before COVID, I was hired to validate three different blockchain systems uh, overseas in Europe, and I hacked all three of them. It's just a question of what is the vulnerability. So, 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 okay. So then, just answer the second question, if you could. Hackers are they fans of? Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptocurrency, are they fans of it or no? If you look how many hacker conferences have always presentation, what are the vulnerabilities and how Bitcoin, for example, has a fundamental problem mm -hmm. with the blockchain. Individually, yes, there's probably one hacker here than there who are a fan of that. But generally speaking, blockchain is not really a favorite thing for hackers. Interesting. Interesting. Hackers are not fans of blockchain. Because I'm looking at this year's Cyber Defense Magazine says, why do hackers love cryptocurrency? I've had another guy that was a hacker who was a very big fan of blockchain and cryptocurrency, but you're not. Uh, it, it's I, I really have to say that if I think my community of hackers and security researchers, yeah. if I have one out of 10 who are fans of blockchain, that's about it. One out of 10. One out of 10. Mm-hmm. Because if you look how blockchain works, uh, first of all, most of the people who claim to be blockchain experts don't even understand how blockchain works. And you can always test it by starting asking questions, for example, how the consensus algorithm works, how you, what is the anchor of trust, how you measure all of that. And you realize whether the person actually understands how blockchain works or not. So, yeah, I mean, there are people who call themselves hackers and I would say also that over the years, this has changed. Uh, when blockchain was a brand new technology, it was a way different acceptance level than it's now. Okay, Rob, can I read this here? I think you have the same article. Can you go to, all the way to the top, what it says? Uh, it doesn't uh, have a title oh, okay. for some reason. It's not loading, but it is the same article. But in here it says, why do hackers love cryptocurrency? Cyber criminals and hackers love cryptocurrency because it's off the books and it's perfect for, I understand, it's at cyber criminals. Yes, so it's like, um, you're I want to qualify here, that. Yeah. You are using I here hackers as a synonym of criminal. Totally get it. That's why I stopped it. It's perfect for moving illegal payments and demanding ransom. Ransomware is type of malicious software designed to block access to computer system and data, typically by encrypting it using ransomware. Uh, attacker usually demands payment. Okay, so this is this is, this is is criminal activity. Well, We're uh, not talking the same thing. But uh, Actually, uh, let me, this is actually a very good conversation because when you look at the history of ransomware, ransomware was dying. It was going away. In a lot of my presentation, I have the first ransomware because the first ransomware ever asked checks to be mailed to P.O. Box in Panama. Right. That was how the ransom was supposed to be paid, huh. very slow. And what made ransomware to bloom and the whole criminal ecosystem around ransomware was cryptocurrencies. That was the rocket fuel. So absolutely, if you if you are using hacker as a synonym to crypto uh, the criminals, yes, then they love it. 
but I'm when I'm using hacker, Ethics. I'm u- yeah. I'm using ha- hacker as the original term. People who are curious, who are tinkerers, who are researchers, and they are not criminals. 